Hi, welcome. Simon here. Hope you're doing well. I hope that you guys can see the error message coming off from the HP computer. Uh, this is a HP laptop. I know it's, it's all dark. You can't see much. Right there it says primary internal battery 601 HP battery alert. So if you're getting this error message, uh, more likely that the internal part of the battery um, has gone bad. We need a replacement. So if you're getting this error message, uh, that tells you is the um, that the laptop needs a new battery. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, and get you all started here. So as you can see, that the uh, it boots boots to the uh, login screen, and I'll go ahead and turn it off the computer. Apologize about the uh, the glare on the screen because this is uh, a touch screen, so there's a glare, and it's hard for the camera to focus. Uh, what the writing is so at least hopefully you guys can see it it shows that the uh, primary internal battery error message 601 that is referring to the uh, the laptop battery all right so let's go ahead and get started um if you're getting the error message then it is time for a new battery okay so let's jump right into it this is the uh, model hp nv x360 m okay and you should have a, a rubber running across on the top as well as the bottom. That rubber is prevent the computer from sliding away. Uh, for some reason, the computer, in, in my case, the rubber is not here. So for you, you need to get a metal prying tool, some sort of stuff to pry open that little rubber and peel the rubber off. And you would get to expose and see the uh, hidden screw here. The one, two, three, four, five. There are five hidden screw coming from the top. So let's go ahead and remove them. And at the bottom, again, you need to peel that little piece of a rubber once you peeled it off. The two hidden screws are exposed so remove the two hidden screws and I'll be using a Philip PH1 Philip 1 that is the uh, screwdriver for that and now the next step is to get a T5 this is a, this, this is a torque T5 and there's a tiny little screw here right in the center that is for the torque so go ahead and remove that as well all right the next step is to go ahead and open up the uh, back cover so what I did I just go underneath and kind of, you know, peel off that back cover. And once you remove the back cover, you then can see the entire battery right here at the bottom left corner. Now this is the HP battery. So let's go ahead and remove all the screws. There are five screws holding down the the battery so remove all the five screws once you have removed all of the screws it is very easy by just gonna lift the uh, the battery straight up or slide it out at 45 degree angle towards your body and once you remove the battery uh, what I like to do is to put down the model number here. This is the SA04XL. If you're not sure where to buy the battery from, go check the link down description below. I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement battery and you can go ahead and change it out. Okay, very straightforward. When the new battery comes in, all you have to do is to slide it in at 45 degree angle. Uh, what I like to do is to match the... Uh, the holes right where the screws are supposed to go in so go ahead and match the holes like this there's a, a little dot right there that this little um, hole here allows you to match the battery match the screws right and then all you have to do is just lift it down and then it will just connect together simple as that and you're gonna have all the screws put back together as well as the uh, back cover and it's a simple process there's no configuration needed and the next time when you turn on the computer the error message 601 will not be there anymore 
thanks for watching if you like the video uh, please smash the like button for me and if you want to show appreciation to support the work that i do and also support my channel i really appreciate you for clicking the youtube super thanks that way you can share your gratitude and i really appreciate that until next time thanks for watching bye now